fairly common task that you'll be doing out there is the customer wants you to place an icon on all their desktops that gets them somewhere or opens up an application or something. For this video, let's go ahead and create a shortcut that directs them to a website. And we're going to put it on all their desktops. We'll get more advanced in future videos as far as uh, our item level targeting, uh, targeting towards certain security groups, people, whatever. But for now, let's keep it real simple. Let's deploy one icon uh, environment wide. A couple prereqs. Uh, you got to make sure the computer is joined to the domain. This is our client machine. They have the user accounts need to be under the policy somewhere. But since we're going to be applying, applying it to the entire domain, it's it should just work no problem. So what we want to do is on our server, we need to first let's double check in Active Directory. Um, I move this computer account over to, let's say it is in the second floor administration. So that's where our computer account is. Now, a couple user accounts I have, uh, let's see, where is in the basement and information systems. You can see I have my regular domain user account, it's a member of, and then also have my domain admin account. Okay, but right now, Chris Davis is logged into this one, just a domain user account. Let's go ahead and open up Group Policy in Server Manager. Go to Tools, go to Group Policy Management. Okay, and you can see I kind of have a few things expanded here, but we'll start from the beginning here. So expand it out to your domain OU. Okay, and since I want it deployed to all of the computers, or basically since now the policy that we're going to be editing, it's a user preference. So technically it's going to be applying to all users but you know it's something you see on the computer side so it is a user policy so I want it to apply to all our users in the environment so right here on the root domain where all our users are in sub OUs we're gonna right click create a GPO in this domain and link it here let's name it something uh, this is gonna be a real basic policy let's just call it shortcut uh, PC addicts.com and hit OK okay so now we need to edit this policy because right now, if you just look at it and you go in the settings section, there's nothing defined. So we need to right-click it. We need to go to edit. It is a user preference. So when the user logs on, the, the policy is going to be applied to the user account, dependent on the user account. So we're going to go to preferences and Windows settings. Then here's the shortcuts. I'm going to right-click in the blank area. New shortcut. We're going to leave it update, but you'll see it. It's going to switch over to replace automatically. But when we switch over to this and do some over there. So for right now, we're just going to leave it as update. Okay, the name. This is going to be the name that they see. Like this icon is recycle bin. So the name, let's call it um, pcaddicts.com website. Target type. We're going to switch it over to URL because it's a, it's a URL. And the location is going to be on the desktop. Target URL. Very simple. Just put in the URL. And that's pretty much done on that side. So now what we want to do is switch over to Common Tab. And by default, it does have the run and logged on user security context, which with starting at Server 20 or 2008 R2, we've noticed that a lot of our policies, we had to start doing that switch there. And we also want to remove this item when it's no longer applied. So if we ever remove this policy or remove the person from the policy we wanted to remove that icon so we're gonna hit OK and you can come back over here you can see it switched the action to replace so that's it let's hit apply let's hit OK our policy is there we can you know if you wanted to let's close out of this let's refresh this you can see this is our policy now our computer's over here. We need to do a GP update. So we're going to go ahead and hit start, CMD, or PowerShell, GP update. Now, typically, I used to use the switch force all the time, but the switch force reapplies all of the policies. So if you have like hundreds of policies in there, you don't want it to, you just want it to update the policies that have changed. So that's where just GP update should work. Now you can see our link got uh, put on here if we open it up. I have my PFSense box running, right? Yep, PFSense box running. I should be able to get out to the internet. Let's see. There it is. Our brand new shiny website. So don't forget to check the site out as well, guys. Um, we have a poll every Friday morning. A poll gets updated, so you don't have to be registered or anything. You just vote. And then we also have a shout box. Same thing. You really don't have to be registered. 
Um, and then, of course, all of the videos in the series are available right here. So now if you, we can do custom things where we add a different icon to that shortcut. But right now, I just want to keep this one very simple. And the more advanced videos for group policy will be including stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to roll with this. And my dog's barking at my cat, so i got to go. So hopefully this helped you out. Thanks. Bye.